Hello guys, I'm Ali Karim and I'm recording my first lecture and I have been taught by Dr. Abdul El Hoxer, he's a great faculty, so it is based on his memories. So today we're going to learn about electricity and uh, we'll be learning about how it works. So basic idea could be like this. So whatever I write, I, I will also scan it. So uh, you don't have to take notes from the video. You, you will get the uh, writings from the below description. So look for it. So electricity is a very common phenomena. It could be compared with water because uh, a lot of the things how electricity works. So uh, if there is a word and if it is divided into two pieces, and if there is an open connection, and if there is another bound connection, then electricity would go from this direction and then this direction and so on. Even though there is a breakpoint, there is no connection at all. So uh, same thing will also happen to the water. So if you have some water like this, so if there is a broken place, broken place, it will also go to the uh, below places. But uh, water cannot flow like this if there is no enough flow, but for electricity it could go like this. But some of the places we're going to compare with the uh, water because it's really easier to understand. So uh, these are basic concepts. And another one of the concepts is that uh, how to really pass one signal to another. Because in the computer, uh, in digital system, uh, there are actually many things that uh, every, one is sender, one is receiver. So one is sending the signal, one is receiving the signal. So if that's the case, so most of the time electricity is something like this. So electricity could be like uh, angle waves, square waves. You have learned it in your electrical process or something like that. Uh, however, when actually signals passes from a sender to the receiver, sender to the receiver, receiver, uh, there could be some noise and noise is a part of life so uh, let's say I send a signal like this and in the receiver end let's say there are it it goes like this it sh should go like this however so however if there is some noise then it could look like this so it could really look like this so I don't have better representation but you get the idea but rather than going as a single line so every point where is distinguished so here I could actually find 2.9 or 4.9 something like that however here it's very hard to determine so how to make the life easier so there is actually a whole course based on noise cancelling and how to process the noise signal however we're going to go very simple so the concept of this lecture is go digital so let's say you have electricity. So electricity is uh, assumed that it's going like this. Instead of this, let's say we have uh, set a point like zero volt and five volt. So whatever I'm sending, it could be zero volt, zero volt, or five volt. It's five volt, it's zero volt. So again, you could send again zero volt or five volt. So in this system, if there is any noise, noise, so if there is any noise, so what could happen is it looks like this. But again, if I restrict my universe between this zero volt and five volt, and let's say whatever is close to five volt is my on switch, close to five volt is my on, and what is close to zero is my zero or false there is no electricity that's what I'm assuming but there could be a lot of noises it could be so what I'm restricting is between 2.5 let's say 2.5 so the idea is that uh, if electricity goes 0 to 5 volt and if it is 2.5 so if it is less than 2.5 it's uh, false and if it is above than that, then it's true. So this true and false can be represented like this. It's true, false, one, or zero. 
or yes or no so whatever you say just true and false i'm just restricting my universe rather than 2.9 4.9 i'm just restricting my universe between true and false that's what we're going to do so far uh we're going to do in our next lesson so that's the primary idea to do do that we, we're just restricting this barrier so what i'm saying is uh if the electricity is between 2.5 it's going to be zero or false and if it is above uh, 2.5, then it's going to be 2 or 1. So that's the idea. So there is a, a problem in this uh, section because if the electricity goes in 2.5, then it doesn't know that where to go. So there is a point that a uh, system could actually give uncertain results. So as an engineer, we don't want that. So solve that problem, what we can do is make a boundary like this, that if it is a five volt range, then there is a two to two volt, two volt range and zero. So if you give electricity between two to two, zero to two volt, if there is any noise, then uh, we'll cancel it out. And between zero to two, we're going to uh, assume it, it's a zero or false. And if it is two to five, then we're going to have a two or one. So that's the idea. And in this portion, we're going to be calling it as a forbidden zone. Forbidden zone. So uh, in early 90s or 2000, you may have seen a lot of blue screens. So the idea is if the electricity goes between these portions, then actually the computer doesn't know what to do. Uh, these kind of forbidden zone that you shouldn't play in this zone. So if you just write it like this, that here is the forbidden zone, so you are not allowed to play here. But we can play here, here, here. It's correct, but you cannot play in here. So in 90s or 2000, uh, one or two, something like that, we have seen a lot of dead, uh, blue dot screens in Windows and so on. So these blue dot screens occurs because of this. So there are uh, possible good uh, ways to fix this. There are a lot of those, but, but we don't actually concern about those. We, we're just going to give you the primary ideas that how we're going to deal with it. So these are the primary ideas. These actually not in the lecture. It's uh, just by myself. So in the possibly from the next lecture, we're going to go deep.